everything you want is going to be something in front of it that's going to keep you away from it. So you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to roll your sleeves up. You're going to have to put Vaseline on your face, ladies. Take your earrings off. You know, take your lace front off, baby. You're going to have to go get it. You're going to have to go get it. Chris, you got that video up, the uh, top plays? You, you guys, you know, there's a generation here that has never seen your plays. Huh. They've just seen your house. But there's a generation that hasn't seen your plays. Chris, we, we got that up. Uh, let's take a look at some of the top plays. Because we're talking about talent, about what he did on the field. We put up this, uh, we pulled up this YouTube uh, video, that your top 50 plays. We won't go through the whole thing. But let's take a look at some of your top plays here. On the top six to three, Montana. Going up top for Rice. Intercepted by Sanders. It's and he went back to throw. Dion. Inside the Beat the Packers. <laughs> First down. Zolak takes the pitch back and throws it downfield. And Dion's got get another up, one. Get up. Get, get, can we it stop it? To us, Dion. All right, here we go. Can we stop it? I, 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 I want to stop it. I don't want you to clap because I'm going to say something that you're not going to believe. Those aren't my top plays. Let, let me tell you why. Because, see, my top plays happened at practice when no one was looking. My, my top plays happened in Fort Myers, Florida, when none of you knew anything about me. My top plays happened when there was no camera there. See, those are the plays you just caught on camera. Those weren't my top plays because I practiced like I played, so when I played, it would be practice. <laughs> Yeah, you, you were supposed to clap right there because that was straight. Amen to that. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, get up to practice place. So there's somebody out there right now, the light ain't on you, but keep making plays. Nobody's talking about you, but keep making plays. That's right. I know your sales numbers aren't where your friend is, but keep making plays. I, I know nobody's talking about you, and you're not on the leaderboard right now, but baby, keep making plays. Coach, were you, with all that, were you ever a selfish player? I don't know what selfish is when you're playing a team sport. But even on a team sport, you, it was about yeah. my stats, my thing. No, it wasn't about me, but the better th I did, the better we were. So you could see it as selfishness. You could see it as braggadocious. Um, you could see it as individualism. But the better you are, the better it's gonna be for your company, the better it's gonna be for your team, the better it's gonna be for your family, the better it's gonna be for your kids, the better it's gonna be for your siblings. So you got to do your thing. I, I, I love team, but in the middle of Dion, there's an I. In the middle of the wind, there's an I. In the middle of prime, there's an I. So I knew I had to do my job to make it easy for everybody else. I remember one of your interviews, you practiced not only your touchdown dances, but you also practiced your post-game interviews and your one-liners. Because I knew. you talking about in college. you talk about in Florida State. Somebody made a mistake and slipped me a piece of paper and told me how much the defensive backs made at that point in time. That was like in the early 80s. I wasn't happy about that because defensive backs at that time were one of the lowest paid positions. Yep. And I said, I got to do something about that. I was already prime time from high school in the dark that they didn't know about. So when I got to college, prime time was still on the front license plate of my car. So I took that image, I took that phrase, I took that and market the heck out of that. So whether you liked me or you hated me, you wanted to see me play good or bad, and I was prime time. So I practiced my quotes. Uh, what do you think about the interception? Well, you shouldn't have threw it. You knew better than that. I'm the best thing since peanut butter and jelly. I had already rehearsed that. <laughs> I had already rehearsed that in the dark. What do you think about that punt return? I told him not to kick to me. You'd be better off going for it on fourth down. I had already rehearsed these quotes because I believe, we're going back to I believe. I believed in me so much. I knew I was going to make the play, but I just needed a package of markability to put myself up there where no one was. And guess what? Old primetime Deion Sanders from the 239 from Fort Myers, Florida, never touched a set of foot in the NFL. And the day I walked in the NFL, I was the highest paid defensive back ever. Oh, that's it. From college to the pros, there's this funny thing called the combine. Combine. Okay. We have a legend of you 
at the combine. You got to understand what the combine is. This is where they test you. Sure. Where they, they poke at you. They tell you about your past and your history. And they do all kind of bench press tests and 40-yard dash and shuttle runs and all of that. And uh, I went to that combine. Yeah. And uh, should have landed that story. They had the bench press there. And uh, I was engaged in a good conversation with one of my cohorts. And they kept saying, Sanders, Sanders. I looked at him. I said, no, I'm good. <laughs> they said, well, you got to get up a bench. I said, well, I don't think Jerry Rice is going to lay across my hands and let him do like that. So I don't, I don't really need that. I'm good. I'm good. Because I came there for one specific goal. That was run a 40-yard dash to allow them to know that I was what they thought I was. And when I ran it, I kept going and left the building because there was no more to talk about. So <laughs> sooner or later, you've got to bet on you. You believe in everybody else. You clap for everybody else. You support everybody else. You're baking cakes and making cookies for everybody else. But when are you going to look in the mirror and believe in the darn person you see? It's about time for you to believe in you because you got it. You got it. Stop.